Okay, so here we come <laughs> to the fun job of actually rooting the tendons. Now, I have done all I can to make sure that there is reasonable clearance. But you know, when you actually come to start putting in the pathways, there's a lot of stuff in there. So the main way through the wrist, there's a gap between these two bearings. Uh, I'm going to get a section of that under. Let's try that. There, there we go. So we've got to kind of post everything through that slot. And also got to do one in the palms. So each of these goes up to one of these holes and then through the middle of the finger and emerging from these tunnels here. In fact, if we have a look at that section the other way, we can see them. Yeah. Yeah, so then you've got a series of channels. That's the main. Uh, or the first wrist joint, this wrist has got two. And then there's these, quite hard to see, I guess. And they continue up by the sides of the servos, and then they emerge into the knuckle and pass through the knuckle joint, and then up to the tip, uh, up to the tip, in fact, yeah, up to here. So that I'm planning to have PTFE tubes, which will run from up about here, a bit like a Bowden cable. And I'm not sure if I'm going to try and make it a Bowden cable or not. And by that I mean make the tube slightly too long for the maximum distance which is achieved as the wrist bends. So it's always taking some compressional loads or to have it a bit loose. Not sure which will be best um, in terms of life and precision, and so a bit of experimenting to do there. And the main concern now, when putting these in, or not main concern, but an important consideration, is to make sure that it's reasonably easy to access the screws on the top of these servos, because otherwise it's going to be a real pick to tune everything up. And tuning is something you don't want to spend too much time doing. But in reality, <laughs> all you seem to do, <laughs> once they're built, that's all you do is keep them running. And that just gets hard work after a while. So that's why all the robots outside don't move anymore, because it's just too much hassle to keep them going. Right, so that's kind of the job I <laughs> forgot in my last video, where I said onwards. Um, there's a few days in that, at least. I suspect over the whole thing it will be, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so some servers angled, some straight, not sure yet. It's all going to pass through here. Uh, I'm going to aim to minimise effect for the fingers, which is not quite accurate, but I'm isolating the wrist, which is what roboticists, uh, I think, always prefer. Uh, but for strength, really, you should have some tendons passing this side of the wrist. Uh, but okay, so that's where it's at. Thanks for watching. <laughs>